Hey guys, just gonna do an unboxing of the Magic Keyboard with Numeric Pad. And uh, this is the keyboard. And let me just open it up real quick. I can get this out. Sorry, I'm having technical issues here. All right. Here's the keyboard. Super excited about this. Um, it is going to be used for work purposes, but this is just the keyboard here. Uh, I do a lot of number inputs, so that's why I got it with the numeric pad. All the way up. And there you go. The Apple keyboard, the Magic Keyboard with Numeric Pad. And it feels just like a uh, MacBook would uh, with the shallow keys. You don't have to, have to press too hard. So it comes with the keyboard, the Apple logo on the back. Here's the charging port. Oh no, that's not the charging port. Here's the charging. This is power. All right. So quick and simple unboxing. I will be doing a review here coming up shortly. All right, so I'm back to do a quick review of the Magic Keyboard with numeric keypad. Um, I do like this keyboard. I have been using it now for several hours. Um, I have input a bunch of data. It is nice to have the keypad here and the keys are shallow and have a discernible like, not as loud of a click as the MacBook Pro, but you can certainly feel when they're being pressed, they're pressed. Um, so before I didn't mention, but it came with the lightning cable, it came with a booklet and then the keyboard. It does have an internal rechargeable battery. And the one thing I don't like is that like the old keyboard, it had USB connectors um, on the back side here. There's no USB connections available on this keyboard, but that's okay because the keyboard is amazing. I really like this keyboard a lot. Um, I have, based on the research that I have found, it, the one single charge will last for a month. And um, the body, I've been kind of doing a little bit of twisting and, and just to see how sturdy it is. And it's pretty stable no matter what I do to it. It goes back to its original form. Now I'm not out running it over with a pickup truck or anything. So I, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but it is pretty stable. Um, the one thing I don't like is that, now I do like the numeric keypad, but if you're here typing and then your mouse is way over here, it's just creating this extra distance from my old keyboard, which was simply, uh, it removed the, the directional and the keypad. So I, I guess I just have to figure out what's more important to me to have the keypad or not. And then uh, the lightning cable uh, can be used to charge or to actually run it wired. So let's say if I ran the battery down all the way down and it wasn't working, I could actually plug it in and plug it into the computer and it'll, it'll just work that way. So. But yeah, so that's my quick review. Hope you guys enjoy. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up.